what now? Okay. Thank you for coming back. We have some purification before Chinese New Year. And thank you for being here. I thought when I continue, everybody already, Lauri already, all chow already. <laughs> Oh, I still come back. I'm so blessed. I'm so thank you so much. I want to give you ang pao already. <laughs> Let me finish nicely. Yeah. I want to finish nicely for this Chinese New Year. I don't want to keep it hanging. So the next one is this one. You can see my screen. I, oh, this is the answer. I'm not looking for the answer. Okay, so just now we say we always want more things. We are never satisfied. And so we have to keep our wants very few, easy to satisfy. Because when we have a lot of things, that means we also have a lot of things to think about and lots of things to do. We'll be very busy. And it's so important in our practice, you know, not to be too busy. Any one of you here very, very busy. If you think you're very busy, type one. If you think your busyness still okay, not busy, type zero. If you think you're very, very, very busy, you can type two. Very, very busy type two. One is busy. Zero is not busy. Zen is not busy. Yay! Yeah. Let's see. Goyang also not busy. Yay! Wow! You all got so good seats, huh? Hey, Jensen, you never type. Ma. Which one are you? One. Jensen is one. Busy. You know, last time I'm very blessed when I learned ACI. Yeah. I got a lot of time, you know, for me to do my practice. I'm like Zane and Yap Ying. I got zero. So I got a lot of time to do my practice. Every day in the morning, I spend about two hours to do my practice. My meditation, about 45 minutes, getting ready, uh, you know, everything. So it takes about two hours before 10 o'clock only. Uh, the earliest time people can see me is 10 o'clock, uh. So I think it helps a lot, but uh, ever since I take on some responsibility that I say, okay, I want to now, I learn so much, I want to go back to the corporate to test what I know. I'm going to corporate with that intention in mind. And I want to test what I know, put into practice. Uh, put into practice. Yeah. But I got so many good seats that a lot of good things happening in my life that put me in now... For February is my busiest month, to be very frank. I'm also in the teacher assistant training and also assisting ACI on that. My work, Chinese New Year, training, mentorship, board meeting. It's a crazy month. Actually, it's not helpful for our spiritual practice. So it's good that you have, uh, you need to have some time for you to contemplate on all these ideas. So if you don't have that, rejoice on Yap Ying and Zain. So you get 10% of it. So that is the thing number two. We are never, never satisfied. We always want more. Like me also, I want more. I tell you when I got one board meeting, I'm one board directorship. I'm so happy, you know, my whole life, you know, changed my whole life. And then I told myself, I make a wish. I say, I want two. Then my wish come true or oh, very powerful, man. Then I say, uh, I think I want three. Lah. And I got three, you know. I just got appointed to another uh, listed company. And so I got three now in my portfolio. Then I'm thinking, should I get four? No, I think three is enough already. <laughs> Too much already. I cannot handle. I'll be very busy. So we are never satisfied. We always want more and more and more. So I tell myself, okay, it's not enough already. Enough. I just maintain what I am. So I hope you also can think about that, okay? Because that is really our problem. We have to take note of that so that we will not let our instincts to just drive us that we want more and more. Next one, uh, number three. The third problem of human life, Lu is body. Yang ni, yang do is over and over again. Doorway is cut. Nyepa, problem. So we have this problem where we have to discard this body over and over again. We have to dump this body again and again. Why not? We are forced to die. Ma. <laughs> Correct? We are forced to die. So number four, yang yang means over and over. Ning sum crossing border, jaw way join problem nyepa. 
So we are forced to take on, we have crossed the border and take on another impure body over and over again. Number five, yang yang, over and over. High, low, all men do. Gyo way to become nepa problem. Yang yang, to men do, new gyo way nepa. Means that, means this thing. After high, then come low. After high, then come low. Where our fortune in life is like that. Up, then down. Up, then down. Leaving us wanting more. And we feel sad when we lose it, isn't it? We feel sad when we lose it. We have the high. I have people who have very high achievement and they drop to the bottom. Do you have anybody in your, your friends or, or did you experience that? I think... I never experienced that, but I feel that it must, I imagine it must be extremely painful. Huh? It's like your whole world collapsed down, isn't it? Yeah. So I, 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 my one, I don't say that. Got high and low for sure, but not a very big high and then boom, drop not like this. Lah. Got high and low. Yes, the small one, high and low. Yes, we have that. Yeah, still manageable. Some like very high, go to the peak, and then boom, drop down. I can't imagine that their whole world just collapse. Yeah. Because if you already reached the high, you already enjoy, you already taste that. And then you are looking forward, isn't it? You miss that feeling. You miss that feeling. You want that feeling. And it's, it brings you a lot of suffering when you cannot get that. Right. And then you go low that time, you cannot get that. You know, but I have once been, I think those artists, isn't it? Those actors, actresses, those in the glamour, they, they face more on that, isn't it? Yeah. How can we recruit? Because you know, I ask myself, this one not from the teacher. I ask myself, why high then low? Why high then low? I ask myself. Then my understanding is probably because we don't know where things really come from. So let's say I achieve that success. Let's say, let's say imagine, let's say I am very famous. Suddenly I become a superstar after I sing a song. <laughs> I get a lot, a lot of fans, Jensen. <laughs> Then after that, one song famous, then boleh finish. Then I must be very sad, isn't it? Correct not? You cannot recreate the success, the fame. Like that one, Oppa Gangnam Style, very famous, isn't it? And that person is trying to create another phenomena. But he actually, he did say, I think a lot of actor and actress, their ability to overcome all these things is so strong, isn't it? Because they go through up and down even more, up and down even more. I think it's a very, the feeling, you know, you just don't know how to recreate the success. Uh. You try, but then just people just don't like you anymore. Because you don't know where the success come from, where the wealth come from. Yeah. I think uh, if we, what we are learning right now can help us to put into our life so that we can continue to be like higher and higher and higher and higher, you know, we can kind of like, of course, there will be up and down a little bit, a small up and down, not a, like coming down, right? We have a, like, we know how to recreate. We call it reinvest, isn't it? Reinvest our seeds. We know how to reinvest our seeds. Uh, the money that we earn, we know how to put a, little, a part, one part of it to reinvest. Whatever I earn, I, I put one part of it to reinvest. In fact, I commit that I'm going to sponsor the 5,000 USD for the stupa, for the Mason Buddha stupa. Actually, I got the money already, but because Malaysia ringgit keep on dropping, 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 and I don't want to transfer. I don't, you know, the, now 4.7 something at Jensen. <gasps> oh, no. So I'm thinking, I say, when can it drop, come back to normal a bit? I have the money ready, but I need to transfer. So I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah, and that is my commitment. Yeah, so we know how to recreate our wealth. We know how to recreate our happiness. Yeah. And that is so important. So what you're learning now will help you to create your future happiness. Then we won't have high, very high, then boom, low. Very high, then too low. We don't have that because we know we keep on reinvest. What you're learning now is so powerful that you will be able to create the happiness to continuously become to have that kind of happiness that you are having right now, you are happy with what you have now. I like to think about uh, like 
people like Liu Te Hua, Andy Lau Tak Hua, right? And then other people, many other people I see that uh, uh, Jackie Chan, everybody know, Chen Long. They have been famous all the time. How do they do that? Then when I study their background and a few other people are like, I'm also, I like Song Ji Shou from Korea. Then when I look at their background, I notice that an, a Yu Ji Shou from Korea, I find that they do a lot of charity. I find that they do a lot of this sort of thing. No wonder they are like consistently still remain. After many years, they're still so famous. Yeah. And you see other, other artists, like they just famous one time, gone, finished. Nobody remember already. Uh, that kind of feeling is It's very difficult to, to bear with that kind of feeling, you know. Yeah. Okay, that's one. The one high, low. That's number five. And number six is the last one. The last one is very, very sad. <laughs> very, very sad. Which is Yang Yang To Mandu Gyowe Nepa. Let's look at the Tibetan words first before I look at the picture. Hey. Why is different? That one is number five. Yeah, after high low, I put the wrong words. Should be drop is companion. Mepe, there is no. Nyepa is problem. The problem that there is no companion. What do you mean by that? Problem of no companion. I need to delete this word. Means that you go through life alone and you die alone. Very sad. But that is the truth. There's a Chinese saying that says that you come alone and you die alone, you go alone. Ultimately, we are alone. No one can come along with us. Whether it's a peaceful or harrowing experience, you have to go through this alone. Very sad, isn't it? Right. Our loved one cannot accompany us. All these things when we learn don't feel sad. Nah. It only helps us to prioritize what we should do. It means that we should not do bad deed for our children. We should not do bad deed for our family members because they cannot help us when you die. The things that you have, they cannot speak to you. After 30 seconds after you die, they cannot help you. The good deed, uh, the deed that you do, follow you like shadow. And it helps me. I remember when after I learned ACI, then I said, oh, I cannot do bad deed for, for my kids. You know, some of the parents, they are very protective of your children, isn't it? Then we can, uh, I can even go to the extent if you say, uh, do something maybe to for our kids, something which is not a bad deed. We are willing to do that. We will do that also for our kids. So after I learned all this, I realized that I cannot do bad thing for my family. Yeah. We, we, have, to, we have to use wisdom. Doesn't mean that we don't have them. We have them with wisdom act of wisdom. What we do should not hurt other people. Okay? So that is the thing. We finish the six problems of human. That is a human life. Six problems of human life. Okay. I want to go quickly yeah, for the three suffering can or not? <laughs> oh, uh, I think no. <laughs> I cut short a bit. <laughs> I cut short. How to develop... Uh, how to know that we have developed renunciation? One more phrase, uh, finish this one, finish. When you have meditated thus and feel not even a moment's wish for the good things of psychic life, and when you begin to think both night and day of achieving freedom, you have found renunciation. How I know I've already got renunciation? I say, okay, I sit and tired, I know got suffering, I should give up. On this life, what do we mean by give up on this life? Means that like give up the eight worldly thoughts. Doesn't mean that you don't want your house, don't want your car, don't want your loved one, don't want your children, don't want money. It's not like that. Okay, you're giving up the eight worldly thoughts. How I know I've developed renunciation. When I don't feel a moment wish for the good things of psychic life, I'm no more attracted to that. But doesn't mean I cannot have it, okay? I still like myself. I still got a car, but I'm not attracted to that, okay? I have a house. I'm not attracted to all these good things. I have the branded stuff. I'm not attracted to that. You've got or don't have also now mind. Okay? And when you begin to think both night and day of achieving freedom, you found renunciation. But I did not think night and day. <laughs> so I haven't achieved renunciation yet. Sometimes God, sometimes don't have. That is a renunciation that I have. So what is the question is, uh, number three yeah, in your answer the question three, what is the point at which you know you have developed true renunciation? When you think day and night of achieving freedom 
and you no longer have any attraction to the so-called good things of this life. And that is where you really have true renunciation. I find that when you have true renunciation, you won't quarrel with people. When we start to quarrel with people, women, actually we still have, uh, we don't have 100% renunciation because we still have attachment. We still want something. But doesn't mean that we cannot um, enjoy the good things that we try to apply the new way of understanding all these things, where they come from and not to react negatively to plant another bad seed. Renunciation is very difficult topic. Do you think you have renunciation? How much renunciation you have? Let's grade yourself one to 10. Type in the chat, how much renunciation do you have? Eh? You guess. One to 10. You agak agak lah, you just guess lah yourself. <laughs> <laughs> one okay, yeah, being one. Jensen five, Zin Ling five, yay, Richie one. Very honest. Thank you so much. Not one. Good. Just start somewhere. Just start somewhere. When I learned, I don't have renunciation. I was so shocked, you know, to hear about all these ideas. Okay, because it's something so new. I never heard from anywhere. Yeah. Okay, so I finish off with the last one on the paper. Just quickly go through the paper, then we wrap up, finish. Sorry, yeah, today we seems that we want to spend Chinese New Year together. <laughs> Question one, name the four principles of karma. I already covered the four principles of karma. Question two, list the six suffering of human life we go through already. And then question three, what is the point at which you know you have developed true renunciation? Okay, so please do your questions at the learning platform and we don't have a class next week we'll come back another week okay let's do a quick dedication jensen you want to lead us on a jensen dedication huh the one man uh, what about zending huh? the one uh? <laughs> okay not one or not, not do you want to lead us on the dedication no okay so I'll do a quick one all right no problem so just close your eyes and be very, very, very happy that despite we spent extra time, we managed to finish and be really, really be very happy and rejoice on what you have planted so powerful. Imagine that you can hold in your hands this goodness and offer it to your holy guide. They are so happy with you. See them there. They accept it, bless it, and they carry it back into your heart. Feel it inside your heart. It feels so good that we want to keep it and so we give it away. By the power of the goodness that we have just done, may every being complete the collection of merit and wisdom. And thus gain the two ultimate bodies that marry and wisdom. This three long exhale one to send to the one that at the beginning of the class, the person you want to help. Second, to send to everyone you love. And the third exhale, send to everyone you have seen. And see them all filled with this goodness because of the repose that you made. Now bring attention back to the space here. When you're ready, open your eyes. Yay! Ong ah, heng ah, la, the last one. <laughs> Yeah, happy, 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 happy Chinese New Year. May you always be blessed with happiness inside of you and outside. Okay, bye-bye. See you a week. Not next week, another week. Bye-bye. Eh? If you have any okay. questions, I'm happy to answer you. Or else you can leave, you can go. Bye-bye, Bye. Thank you, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Happy New Year. Yay. Happy New Year. Oh, I got question. Yeah, Jensen got question. You want recording or do one record? They're going to record you. We stop the recording. If you want it to be recording, then I'll just leave it. Okay.
Huh? The one, uh. the one. The one. The one. I stopped the recording. Uh. Let me I see. Say, uh. I oh, say. Yeah, I'm also very Pisces. Not only you, I have to be very honest. <laughs> yeah.